Good morning again to everyone. Oh, what's going on? Some things on hold and uh, took that motorcycle. I put it out front and there's a couple people looked at it. Kicked the tires and stuff, you know, what not. Oh yeah, what not. But uh, <clears throat> Put it on the old marketplace. 500 bucks, you know. Uh, see if anyone wanted it. It was free. But uh, it was in pretty nice shape. So I got a couple of trade offers for, uh, you know, your basic snowmobiles and stuff like that that I didn't want. But, uh... This one guy said, uh, said, I'll trade you a 2001 VW Passat, complete with uh, factory cats and everything on it. So I said, well, I like the sounds of that. So turned out he was uh, right on the way down to the junkyard. So didn't get any footage of it, but uh, had a nice little day on Saturday. And uh, strapped the motorcycle down to the car trailer, which was a little bit sketchy. But uh, used every strap that I could find. And um, took it down. He was happy with it. Um, unloaded that. Loaded up to VW. And it was just junk, you know. It was, needed a lot of work. Body work and everything like that, so... Took that, swapped it even, and uh, cashed it in at the same time. And uh, ended up getting more than I wanted for the bike. So, that right there is hustling. 101. And uh, you don't get to see the car, but maybe a picture. I don't know. But um, that's it. See what else we got going on. Well, as you can see, the farm truck is, uh, still in the garage and um, trying to fighting to get the new headers in which they're in but I can tell you one thing uh, you think you're getting a good deal get some headers for cheap and uh, not so much get what you pay for like they always say they didn't want to fit too well had to really wrestle to get them in there Bolts didn't want to line up. Had to move a coolant sensor on the side of the head. They didn't uh, notch it out for that. So. Not a very fun time. And then. Uh, I get to the point where. I put my new plugs in. Got a new set of AC Delcos. You know. Just standard plugs like they were made for. And, uh, nope. Some of them you can't put them in because uh, they, he they bent the header tube too tight and it's right against that. So you can't get the spark plug boot on there. So I had to order a set of header plugs. Little shorties, you know. So, gotta wait for those. But, another 40 bucks. Buy those. And uh, free shipping, so we'll see. The only good thing is about, I mean, they're definitely, uh, I don't know whether I got like uh, maybe some bad motor mounts that are a little saggy, but as you can see, that exhaust, of course, you know, the pipe's hanging there because it's not hung up, but. Um, these are a lot better as far as clearing everything. They're going to come right down. 
and clear that cross member be a straight shot to connect the exhaust so that part's good anyway simple solution to a terrible problem was every time I leaned up on here to work on it my shirt would get caught in this little thing right here so put a little bit of masking tape over it and uh, shirt don't get caught anymore things like that that really ticked me off but with some prying and persuasion they're in there what's that another thing I'd like to point out is uh, kind of one of those funny things through life that you hear people say they tell you you can't do certain things um, because of whatever reason but I'd like to point out that uh, everyone always picks on people for painting cars with whatever, you know, spray paint. Sometimes, I mean, it doesn't happen too much these days, but back in the day, the real cheap uh, used car guys used to paint them with house paint, you know, quick paint, put some blue on them, and people would buy them. And that was like a big, you know, it was always like a big joke. Like, what did you do? Paint this thing with house paint? You know, whatever. If, uh, you know, a body shop that you didn't like did, did a paint job, you know, you would say that. But um, if you know what I'm saying, anyway, they say you can't use house paint on a vehicle. And uh, definitely not an interior house paint. Well, I'm going to tell you. Um, right here, you're looking at four years that I painted this with some simple white house paint. There was a part can hanging around the house from when we moved in. I took a simple paintbrush and there was a parade for the little town. And I figured I would, uh, drive through there through the parade with my truck and kind of get my my name out there plus it was kind of fitting to the rest of the you know the way the truck looks so instead of getting all pro I just took out a brush and freehanded and put that on there now that's like I said that is simple interior house paint nothing else painted that I did not clean the door I did not wipe it off did not wash the truck, did not sand, nothing, no mixture, just right out of the can. And as you can see, four years of being out in the weather. Still looks like the day I put it on there. So, there's a myth buster for you or something, whatever you want to say, but... You know, that actually lasted better than uh, the the bed on this truck was blue when I got it. I just hated it, so I had to just quickly do something. And I took some rattle cans of uh, Rust-Oleum, the rusty metal primer, and just, uh, just sprayed it on. But you can see it's come off in a lot of places. And uh, I've had to spray some more on, but that's it. Don't let anyone tell you can't paint anything on your vehicle with house paint there you go there's a hood that I didn't prep I just wanted to see what a can of uh, rust-oleum safety orange would do and that's one winter sitting out and that's see what happens is that primer that was on that hood being an aftermarket replacement it what it does is in the weather it collects like moisture and stuff underneath of it so pretty much when you go to paint it you gotta like sand it right off or else the paint won't stick so that's what happens when you paint on it without prepping it or anything it doesn't stick so there you go there's a lesson for you Taking these uh, G-body passenger car headers off the truck, 
was uh, not very fun. It's worse than putting them on. It's kind of weird. They fit so tight that the bolts, I couldn't even get the bolts to loosen up. So I just uh, obviously took the sawzall, sliced them right off. But you can see, let's find this one here. That's where it was hitting the control arm. Four years of tapping against it. Rotted right through. Very thin. Thin metal. Cheap. And uh, there's the collector that broke right off. I was driving it and I just reached under. But I actually got some weld to stick and. Uh, at least held the exhaust together. The guy that I traded the motorcycle, he uh, was trying to entice me a little bit to do the deal, which I would have already done it anyway, just for the car with the factory cat and everything. But um, he said, I'll even leave my... Four hundred to five hundred dollar system in it. Well, pulled over on the side of the road, park a lot, did a quick quick strip down, took the whole system out for the hell of it. Uh, we got the old crunch amp on there. Got the capacitor all wired up. Boss, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's like, that's like Walmart shit right there, but took it out anyway, some of you might want it, a couple bucks, I got all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stereo stuff that I used to be into back in the day, but I still like, I still take it out and own it, but it's a decent little uh, Alpine deck there got the uh usb the aux port that's all you need even got the attachable face well yeah took that out wasn't too hard wasn't bolted in or anything some custom port block offs there and uh that's what i'm talking about Backyard update. Dogs are barking. Almost. Almost. We're melting nicely. Still pretty cold. About 40 degrees. Supposed to get up to 50 today. Supposed to have a couple days, 50. Scored a few things past couple of days. Little table and chairs there. Oh, my barrel, my new one. Got wheels and everything. Just bummed out that this little beverage cooler didn't work. It's got a little LED blue light lights up, but the compressor doesn't run in it. Scored some totes.